Okay, Spencer, I have an app that I think might help you with some of the math homework you've been working on recently, specifically the graphing that you've been working on. It's called Wabbit EMU. You can find it on the Apple Store. Please go ahead and pause the video while you find the app and install it. After you've installed the app, go ahead and open it. Allow any permissions it needs. You're going to select the second option. Help me create a ROM using open source software. Hit next at the bottom. You're then going to select the second from the bottom, the TI-84 Plus SE. Then hit next on the bottom right. It will download the calculator. You're then going to select the third option, Reset Calculator. Now an image of the calculator should appear on your screen. This acts as if you have the physical calculator on the desk in front of you. Therefore, we have to turn the calculator on. The on button is at the bottom most left button. It says on. We'll turn the calculator on. We then want to clear the opening message here. The clear button is on the right side, just beneath the gray arrow keys. We'll clear the screen. The first thing we're going to do is learn how to graph a function on the calculator. To do that, we need to hit the top leftmost button, which says y equals. It says in blue stat plot above it. This will bring up your equation screen. We can now type in our equation for y1 equals. The 1 just stands for the first equation. So y equals. We're going to use an example from your homework last night, number 6, which was x to the 5th minus 5x to the 4th plus 6x cubed. So first we need to type our variable, x. You do that by hitting the button just to the right of the green button, x. To raise it to a power, we're going to use the caret button, which is just beneath the clear button on the right side. To the power of 5. We'll then hit the arrow key, which is going to bring our cursor back down, gray arrow key, x to the 5th minus 5, x button again next to the green, x, caret button again, to the power of 4, arrow button to bring the cursor down again, plus 6, x button again next to the green key, x, caret button again below the clear button, to the power of 3 arrow button over. If you made a mistake, you nearly take the arrow keys and go back to where you messed up. Once the cursor is highlighting your mistake, you press the delete button, which is just to the left of the arrow keys. Delete. Okay. Bring it to the power again. The caret key. Type what we want. That's how you correct errors. Now that we have the equation correctly entered, we're going to hit the graph button, which is the top right button. It says graph, and in blue above it, it says table. It will then graph our function. You can use this to check the shape of your work if you're trying to graph it in your homework. Additionally, we can hit the trace key, which is just to the left of the graph button. Trace. This will now make a cursor appear on the screen at 0, 0. This cursor will trace or follow the graph. So if we hit the arrow key to the right, the cursor will go to the right, and it will stay on the graph. Same to the left. This isn't very useful because it chooses points at random. However, we can enter whatever x value we want, such as 1, which will say x equals 1 in the bottom left of the screen. We'll hit the enter button at the bottom right, and it'll show us what the y value is. x equals 1, y equals 2. It will also put the cursor at that point. This is a quick way to evaluate the value of a function at any x value you want, rather than having to type in the equation into the calculator screen. So, for instance, in this 
particular example, we have zeros if x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals 3. In your homework last night, we would have to evaluate at the midpoints. So the midpoint between x equals 0 and x equals 2 would be x equals 1. So then we can quickly find the y value there. The midpoint between the 0 at 2 and 3 would be x equals 2.5. Enter. It now shows us the y value x equals 2.5, y equals negative 3.9. It's a lot easier than typing in 2.5 to the 5th minus 5 times 2.5 to the 4th plus 6 times 2.5 to the 3rd. It'll save you a lot of time on your homework. That's all for now. If you have any questions, just ask. One final note, if you want to go back to enter a new equation, you just hit the Y equals button again. You can then hit the clear button, and it will delete that, and you can type in whatever new equation you want. That sort of thing for the next problem. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know.